Hi, you've clicked on today's tropical tidbit for Saturday, May 9th, 2015. The thoughts expressed in this video are mine alone, and in making decisions, please always consult the National Hurricane Center and National Weather Service, not me. Well, here's Tropical Storm Anna, now a fully tropical cyclone uh, south of South Carolina and North Carolina coastlines. And uh, you can see that the convection is much more concentrated around the center relative to yesterday, which is why this is now a tropical cyclone, but it's still offset from the actual center, and this convective burst continues to shed little mesovortices that rotate around here, indicating that uh, the center is still not fully tightened, and the mean center is likely near the western edge of the convection, not directly underneath. And there are a few reasons why this might be the case. Uh, one of them, uh, noticing this morning, is there's a little bit of shear now, and you can see uh, on the eastern flank of the ridge building east of the trough to the west, which is causing severe weather in the plains today. You can see the cirrus clouds coming down out of the northwest. And if you look carefully, you'll see a batch of cirrus clouds moving out of the northwest that formed from the spiral band and quickly moved off toward the south. And this is indicating some north northwesterly shear is now over the circulation and probably helping to push these thunderstorms off of the center of circulation. Uh, but last night is likely when Anna peaked and uh, the recon went in there and found pressures under 1,000 millibars and evidence supporting winds of up to 70 miles per hour in a strong convective band that formed over the center. Uh, the NHC did not think it was enough evidence to upgrade to 70. They kept the intensity at 60 miles per hour, and that remains the intensity this morning. Uh, but Anna clearly peaked yesterday evening uh, based on recon data. The plane just went in there and left. Uh, it's moving out for this morning. will be a new one later. Uh, but the winds found uh, are much weaker than last night, and the pressure has risen back above 1,000 millibars as this continues to drift slowly toward the north. So Anna has likely peaked and is now moving over the cooler shelf water. Uh, actually, the center circulation is directly over the Gulf Stream now. Uh, but the reason it may be starting to fall off of its peak intensity is because there's a lot of colder water uh, to the east near about 22 degrees Celsius and the shelf water. Both of these areas likely contributing to the low level inflow into the storm, which means cold and stable air is wrapping into the center, even though the center is located over the Gulf Stream. But the Gulf Stream is a very thin river of warm water and I can actually show you what it looks like on the satellite picture. You can see it this morning. If you follow the two lines I'm about to draw, I'm going to draw two lines here up away from the storm. Look in between these lines. You'll see low level cumulus developing in the southeasterly flow and you've got um, very clear skies on either side of the band I drew, but in between you see these low level clouds. This is because there's about a 10 Celsius uh, sea surface temperature gradient here. And so over the warm water, the clouds are forming due to the moisture being picked up from the ocean. And uh, you can see that demarcated here very well. And if you follow these lines all the way down, you can see where the Gulf Stream is relative to Anna. And you can see that Anna is actually over the Gulf Stream this morning, uh, but it is a very thin river of warm water. And so all this cooler air uh, being pulled in from around the storm is likely limiting how strong Anna can get. And we basically expected this for an early May storm, very early preseason storm. But this serves as a reminder for the southeast coast. If this was August, even though this the season is expected to be quiet overall, which we'll talk about in another video another time, uh, storms like this can form quickly in your backyard and sneak up on you. And uh, in, if this was August instead of May, this could have easily been a major hurricane uh, developing over the Gulf Stream and moving inland. So this serves as a reminder to keep uh, yourselves prepared for the rest of this hurricane season, no matter how quiet it is forecast to be. And uh, anyway, this will be moving inland sometime tomorrow morning, according to the NHC, about 8 a.m. or a little sooner than that, near the South North Carolina border. Tropical storm warnings extend from northeast of Charleston all the way up to Cape Lookout, North Carolina, and there's a watch further southwest in case a band forms on the west side of the circulation. Though currently the heaviest weather is on the east side and will likely remain there as that's where the warmest water will be relative to the circulation center as it moves slowly northward. And again, heavy rain will be a concern as this moves slowly over the next 36 hours. Uh, but even the winds, even though this will be weakening over the shelf water as it comes in, uh, rip currents, high surf, and certainly tropical storm force winds and gusts are likely on the open beaches as this comes ashore. So certainly nothing to sneeze at, but also not a terribly big deal either for those in these areas who are used to tropical storms. But once again, later in the year, this could have been a lot worse. So keep an eye out uh, later this summer uh, for, sim for a similar situation if the pattern supports it. 
and this will continue recurving out to the northeast to perhaps be a rainmaker for the New England states as well, but at that point becoming extra tropical and becoming little more than a spring nor'easter, if that much, in that area. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching.